something smashed because the hoodie covers the top part. Right. right? But I know it's a smash shirt <laughs> for sure, obviously. Even without looking at the you know the Falco symbol on it yeah. with like, the shine, duh. But it's like. I don't know, it's like, is that a team? Or is it like, <laughs> are they being sponsored? Or is it like the group of guys that just wore these sweatshirts so that way they don't get lost in the crowd? Right. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I can tell you that I do like that Falco shirt. And what size is that kid? Nah, I'm not going to. I'd buy it off of him, but he wouldn't have to have anything to wear. <laughs> Here he'd be like a walking sponsor. I mean, he'd be like, yo, I'll take 12 bucks. But then he'd walk around without his shirt on the whole time. And I'm not, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, it's true. I mean, nudity is a hot topic. You know, we can't be seeing all those man nips. Unless it's Isaiah and he's popping off, then that's a yeah. guarantee it's going to happen. We're cool with that. Yeah. <laughs> we like to see those man nips. All right, so we got Mario versus Ganondorf, which I'm just surprised that they're allowing Ganondorf as low tier. I mean, I don't know. Because it's like... They must be just doing everybody below top eight. Probably, yeah. Well, I, well maybe not if they're not like, doing Doc. I don't know. Well, yeah, that's the weird thing. It's like Ganon, especially from seeing specific people playing Ganon, he's good. Yeah. He's like, of course, he's not as like good as Falcon, right? Per se, but he's still really good. Yeah. If you know what you're doing. But you can say that about like anyone, yeah. really. That's very <laughs> it's true. like, you know, earlier we saw like a Pichu. I didn't know crap about yeah. Pichu, but he's like, he's popping up as Pichu. I was like, <laughs> oh damn, I didn't know this could actually happen. <laughs> But, I don't know, I guess it's like, once you have, like, give the character to, like, hands of someone who actually knows what they're doing. Right. It's like, dude, this character's outrageous. Yeah. Well, we got help up on Dio. Four stocks of two. Help is managing his damage nicely by just dancing around this Ganondorf. You know, this is a really hard matchup for Ganondorf if he cannot control space correctly. Yeah. If he has to play catch up the entire time, the Ganondorf will not win the match. No. Because if Mario ha if Mario is the one being chased, in any scenario, Mario can throw out a forward smash. Any scenario. Or down smash. Ooh, that was sick. He, That'll work. He only if he detected it, though. No. Nah. He's not there. Yeah. Well, it's a low tier tournament. Uh, <laughs> we don't, we don't take those here. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> hey. Hey. I still take pride in my Tekken. <laughs> I love me some Tekken. Like, I, I may be rusty at, at the game, but at least my Tekken is still spot on. <laughs> That's all I care about. It's like, yo, you can knee me into the wall all day. <laughs> oh, Garrett. Oh, that's a classic, though. That'll Wave do dash it. off the ledge of the cape. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's, uh, that's crispy. Well, three stocks to one. About the same damage as we were at the last... These charge forward smashes just aren't going to do it. No. Uh, I can appreciate his thought process, but I feel like... The hard read was just wasn't there. It yeah. just wasn't there. Well, so, we'll oh, see. What is he doing with this? Well, <laughs> why was he, he down tilting the other way? <laughs> <laughs> I, think he, I think he tried to uh, charge some down smash. Oh, okay. So he can get the back hit. Ah, that's it. Ah, um, that's it. That's, that's game. Well, game one goes to help. Three stocks. Dio looking a little lost, but uh, hopefully he can turn it around here. Yeah, that, bringing back up to the topic of like trying to play Doc, you figure you would, because it's like if Ganon's in it, yeah, Doc can, yeah, for sure. Well, <laughs> but for some reason he's not. That's so strange. Now that I think about it. In this matchup, it'd be great. Well, honestly, I think I think Mario does just as well as Doc does in this matchup. Yeah. Um, you know, to be completely fair, I think Dr. Mario and Mario, the big separation between those two comes at the way that they handle high tiers. Yeah. Because if you look at it, Mario's cape is just not necessarily the spacey killer that, uh, that Doc sees. But if you're doing low tiers, there's no spaces. Those recoveries are all kind of nil and void. So you're still getting the same kind of cape on it. Ooh, oh, these up tilts now are so... Mm. Well, he's using his up air like a jab. So, like, he'll fast, he'll throw a late up air and fast fall it, and then get the instant up tilt. And it's like you get pretty much anything you want out of that. You get confirmed off the up, uh, the up air. <laughs> I felt like, yeah, definitely if he was playing Doc right there, that nair would have killed him. Yeah. Because you know? sure. of its dumb properties, how it works. <laughs> <laughs> there are some dumb properties. There's so many dumb properties with Doc, I swear. Yeah. So many dumb properties. It's like the fact that, yeah, the longer it's like his nair. Ooh. See that? That was a tricky little reverse ledge guard. You can only do that.
with uh, him at the balcony. No, no, I, I don't want to say for sure, but I know those two definitely benefit from that underside. Yeah. Um. These fairs, though. Oh. Yeah. So good. See, like, that's another thing between, like, Doc and Mario, is, like, Dark, Doc, obviously, it kills, right? Yeah. For sure. But it's, like, with Mario, if you chain them, it is the sexiest oh, yeah. thing in the world, it's I true. swear. It's true. It's, like, even coming from, like, a Mario main, it's, like, the sexiest, and it's the best feeling in the world yeah. when you get them. Even when you're not trying to get them on purpose, yeah. it's, like, oh, so unexpected. Right. This feels so good. Like, mm. Yeah. <laughs> you get, like, the tech read, forward air. They roll behind you, you got the read and just get the force bash on him. Yeah, it's, it's, like, I don't know, like growing up like Mario will always have like a special place in my heart. Like, always yeah. smash Always have like anything. Yo, I like what he's trying to do. He's trying to do this reverse wave uh or let, uh, excuse me. Reverse wave land into forward air. Uh, too many down B's on that. Yeah. The one would have been fine, but it's too many. Yeah, I think he was just terrified of going high because, I mean, that's his free cave zone. Although, I, I think he was close enough that he could have kept the momentum. Because that's the thing, is like, you can cave the guy, but if he has enough momentum, he's still going to come back on stage. Uh, I think he's just, he maybe, he might not know, or, uh, just, just thought going low was a better idea. I felt like, yeah, if, if he didn't double jump right there and got the fair, he would have got it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bread and butter, but that's only possible at like 16% where like 90, mm -hmm, that's not gonna work. Yeah. Well, the thing about help too is like he's not dropping a whole lot of follow ups. Like he's getting a hit and he's making sure he's following. Yeah. He's, he's getting these up airs and then he's throwing another one out. He's getting these up airs and he's throwing another one out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh and he got god. the wall spike. Uh, it no. doesn't matter though. Oh my god. Clean two stock. That was pretty good though. I respect the disrespect though. Yeah. I respect the crap out of that. So, again, yeah. that's a that's another